Starting a guitar project from scratch can often be a daunting process, but luckily there's some great guitar kits that can help alleviate some of that stress. Today we're going to be taking a look at one such kit from Guitar Kit World, so stay tuned for that. If you're new to building your own project guitars, while well, starting with a good quality guitar kit can make all of the difference. I've had my share of experiences with guitar kits, and today I wanted to open one of these kits with you, give you the rundown, and show you what it's all about. Now, one of the advantages of building a guitar by using a kit like this is that most of the leg work, which is pretty boring and could be costly, is already done for you. So you don't have to worry about sourcing all of the miscellaneous parts for the build. You don't have to worry about making sure those parts will actually fit together the way you intend them to go. And uh, basically it's a lot less expensive because if you got to order all of these parts individually, you're dealing with multiple shipping sources, multiple uh, duties and shipping costs, which add up very quickly. So by using a kit like this, you basically can focus on assembling the guitar, making sure the finish is done perfectly, and then just setting it up so it plays wonderfully. In my experience, not all guitar kits are created equal. And you know, the old adage of you get what you pay for often applies, so you have to be careful where you're sourcing your guitar kits from. Uh, you'll see the difference in the selection of wood, the just the quality and craftsmanship put into the routes, how the parts fit together, the selection of the woods, like, you know, less expensive kits might often have imperfections, might not be finished as well, might not even be sanded down completely. So there's a lot more labor involved with putting together those kits. So starting off with a good quality kit saves you a lot of time and energy. Now, just before we start looking at this kit, I just want to make an announcement to say thank you to all of the people watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. I'm going to actually do a draw on this kit at the very end of the video. So if you want to have a chance to actually win this kit for yourself, stay tuned till the end of the video. I'll give you the instructions on how to do it. And you have an opportunity to walk away with a beautiful kit that you can build on your own and have something very unique for free. So let's have a look at what's in this box and see exactly what kind of kits are being provided by Guitar Kit World. So if we start off by looking at the body that comes with this kit, you can see it looks pretty typical. Strat style body, you know, it's not unusual to see bodies like this, but if we take a closer look, you will indeed see that it is slightly different. So this body is Pretty similar to a body that you would find on a Kramer Beretta, uh, although uh, there is something a little different and I'll explain that to you in a minute. But overall, I can say that the body itself is pretty light. I like the fact that it's not extremely heavy. The body looks like it's made of mahogany. Now I'm not a wood expert, so I couldn't be, I could be mistaken, but to me, the grain on this looks like it's made of mahogany. And so the idea behind this kit and the reason why I selected this particular kit is because it is actually a mishmash of a couple of different body styles and elements from different types of, um, of guitars. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to mix the DNA from a couple of different guitars and see what we can come out with. Sort of like, you know, the idea behind the Frankenstrat where Eddie did his own thing and just kind of built the guitar that didn't exist. So that's the reason why I selected it. This body uh, seems to be sanded down to a pretty fine grit. There's no real uh, marks in terms of chatter on it from the uh, routing process. It's actually done quite nice. The roundovers are really nice. The grain seems to be very nicely matched. I don't see any knots any cracks. Uh, so that's already a great thing. Now the aspect of the fit and finish that's the most important in the body is the way the bridge 
route is made as well as the neck pocket and I can see that the routing on this is done extremely well. We can also see the guitar kit logo that is burnt into the neck pocket here so that you know that it is a good quality kit. It also has a nice access point for the truss rod which I like. Uh, I like having I don't like having obstacles in the way. Now I selected this body because it has only one pickup location and I thought that would be a little nod to Eddie Van Halen that we unfortunately lost earlier this year. Uh, so that you can actually put in the kit pickup here or you can select a pickup of your own. It really doesn't make a difference. And that's the beauty of these kits. You can do what you will or what you want to do with them. Now the carve, on the back, which is the you know the, the uh, tummy tuck and the armrest here, very nice, uh, feels very good. I'm actually quite impressed by how well the body is uh, is carved. I don't see anything really nasty about this. Now here's the difference. In this particular kit, you'll notice that there's holes drilled in here and there's no access for a tremolo. That's because there is no tremolo. I selected this body to have the bridge. Um, look and play like the bridge that you would normally find on a Gibson Les Paul and that is sort of the little twist. So you have sort of a Kramer Strat style body with a humbucker yet the bridge on this is going to be a bridge that is similar to what you find on a Les Paul. Now that's not where the uniqueness ends and I'm going to show you the next part of it in a second. Let me just grab the neck. All right, so we have the neck and you can see that it is a banana headstock shape, very similar to what you would find on a Beretta, uh, although that's pretty much where that Beretta style ends. Now you'll see that on the neck itself, it's actually a rosewood neck and it has the abalone inlays very very closely resembling uh, the inlays that you would find on a Gibson Les Paul. And that is really pretty unique to see a Strat style guitar with inlays from a Gibson. Uh, so that's sort of the play I wanted to do here. Now I gotta say that the inlays here look very nice. I'm, I mean, if they're not actual mother of pearl inlays, which they may not be, they actually look very good. Uh, probably the best I've seen in terms of uh, plastic inlays, if they are indeed plastic, which they may not be. Now there's no binding on either side of this uh, neck, it's just, uh, just a rosewood uh, finish. The back of this neck is extremely, extremely nicely sanded down. It feels really good in your hand. Um, the nut here, seems to be uh, bone and not plastic. And see, things like that you don't normally find on less expensive guitar kits. So it's really nice to see that on a kit like this. The thickness of the slab is substantially thick there. It's not like a thin slab or anything like that. Uh, you can see the end of it, and I'll throw up a close upshot of that as well. Um, of course, the most important thing on a kit like this is the finishing of the neck and the frets, and I don't see any uh, fret sprout here at all. Uh, you could round over the frets, I mean, uh, if you want to. I like to round over my frets because it just feels more comfortable, but the most important thing is that there's no real sharp edges um, on this neck so that you have uh, a, a very nice playing and feeling neck. Now, of course, I often take the liberty of finishing the neck and just making sure there's no high frets, uh, making sure that everything is polished and crowned. Um, but so far, I mean, I can see that the quality of these frets are quite good. There's no nasty chatter. They feel really, really smooth. Sometimes you run across frets that are just bumpy or not really, uh, they're not really finished all that well. Well, I don't see that here. So that's really cool. Another thing I want to point out to you guys is that there's no scarf joint. Often on these less expensive kits, they'll just 
glue two pieces of wood together and you'll have a scarf joint back here. And in this case, you don't have that. Now I do feel that the banana headstock is slightly longer than it would be on a real Beretta. And I do have one here to compare and I can tell you, this is definitely longer. Now they probably do that on purpose so that they don't get sued for copyright issues. They're not allowed to uh, copy, you know, uh, one for one the shape uh, of a headstock. So this one is slightly bigger. The good news is that it would not be very difficult for you to actually sand this down a little bit to make it smaller and closer to the original if you want to do that, right? So you have the luxury of doing that because it's your kit. Now here is the moment we've all been waiting for. We want to see how the neck fits in the pocket because sometimes you get some surprises. So let's put that in there and see exactly what kind of uh, fit we have and how much play we have here. So let me take a close look before I show it to you, just so I can see it here. And I can tell you that, honestly, I would not be able to slip in a sheet of paper between the body and the neck. It's that tight. So that is super nice to see. So the tighter your neck fits in the pocket, the more resonance you're going to get and the better, you know, just overall transfer of tone is going to happen. So that is super important. And um, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far and I'm a stickler for this kind of thing. And in this particular case, there is a slight um, angle to the neck and that is because you are dealing with a bridge that is designed that way so that you do have to have a slight back angle or a little bit of play. That's quite normal. Now let's look at the hardware a little bit and see what we get here uh, in the standard kit. Now with these kits, you often get budget hardware. Don't expect super high quality hardware because really, you know, they're focusing most of the money you're paying on the actual uh, body and neck. So if you're looking for something super high end in terms of the tuners and the, uh, uh, the pickups and whatnot, you can definitely splurge and get something a little bit better, but typically, they're, you know, run of the mill type components at this point, at this price point. So you get a uh, bridge pickup here. It's a no name pickup. Doesn't really indicate what the output is or what type of magnets you get in here, but it's a standard typical humbucker, probably a ceramic humbucker. I can't really tell without taking out the tape. I'm not going to do that in this particular case. It also has a, uh, comes with the actual uh, ring so you can mount it to the guitar. Now, Eddie didn't use a ring. He mounted the pickups directly to the body. Uh, you can do that as well if you want to be you know, a little bit closer to what Eddie did, uh, by all means, why not? In the next little bag, we have the plate that will hold your neck in place with a bunch of screws. And the plate also has a little plastic protector so that you can actually place it behind the uh, plate so it doesn't scratch the guitar. Uh, I don't usually like to use those little plates, but if you like them, why not? Uh, they just go a little bit further in protecting the finish on your guitar. Uh, very nicely done, no pitting in the chrome or anything like that, and nicely counter -sunk, sunk holes so that everything should fit in the way it was meant to be. The next little bag that we have here is what is holding all of the tuners in place here. Now, typically I know for a fact that these tuners are kind of budget tuners. They do the job, but they're not locking or anything like that. I mean, they're just standard tuners. You can definitely get better quality tuners. If the guitar build comes out the way you like it, then definitely upgrade them if you feel that they don't do an adequate job. And that's how I like to approach my builds. I really don't know how they're going to turn out till I'm done with them. And sometimes you expect them to come out really well, but you end up with a dud or sometimes you don't think it's going to come out really good and it, it actually blows your socks off once it's done. So instead of spending a bunch of money uh, right from the get go, what I like to do is I like to put the body together, put everything, get it done, see how it sounds. And then if I feel that there is good potential in that particular kit, 
I'll spend the money where I think it's, it's, uh, it's worthwhile because you don't necessarily have to upgrade all of the components. Most of the components will do just fine. Uh, the kit also comes with the standard back plate. This is to cover the cavity where you will have your uh, tone knob. Um, you also have all of the little screws that you will need to be able to uh, put in all the tuners. You have the strap locks, you have the, even a set of strings. I wouldn't normally use this set of string, but I like when Kits come with the strings because you can actually set it up and make sure everything is aligned properly with the neck and everything with these strings and then you can actually get rid of these strings and put in a set of your own strings of choice. All right. Now here is probably one of the most important components that I'm going to show you next and it is actually the bridge and the tailpiece because obviously that is where all of the adjustments can be made on the guitar and you want to make sure that it's decent quality and I'm happy to say that uh, I, I like when they actually wrap them up even though they're in bags they're protected with some really nice paper so they don't get scratched along the way. Now the bridge on this looks to be very nicely made. I'm very impressed. What I like to look at in, in the bridges is to make sure that all of the little teeth here are nicely cut. There's no unsightly um, sharp points that will potentially break your strings and that the saddles don't like jiggle around. These ones seem to be nicely uh, put together. Let's have a look at the tailpiece. Tailpiece is here and I, these have some nice weight to them. Oh yeah, the tailpiece is actually very nice. Nice quality tailpiece here. Very nicely made and it does have some weight to it which I like. Some of the less desirable kits out there tend to skimp on these and really you don't want to skimp on the bridge because that's going to be the place where you're going to have the most issues if they're not well made. And of course you have all of the posts and adjustment screws to put into the body. I'm not going to put them in there because they're usually difficult to come out and since this guitar is going to end up in someone else's hands when we actually have the draw for it, I want to make sure that everything is immaculate. So I'm just going to make sure that I put everything back the way it was once I'm done with this review. And as an extra little thank you, they like to throw in a little jack here so that you can actually plug in your guitar when it's ready to go and hear what it sounds like. And you also have a little Allen key to adjust the, the truss rod on the neck and make sure that the relief is just right. So guys, I think overall this kit is very nicely done. I would not hesitate in trying some of the other kits from Guitar Kit World. I know that they have a various uh, selection of guitar bodies and styles and that's one of the cool things that I liked about Guitar Kit World is their sheer amount of body types and different styles to choose from. You can find pretty much anything you want including something as unique as this particular guitar. So guys, if you want a chance to win this guitar, all you have to do is look at the description at the bottom of my video. You'll see a link there to be able to uh, actually enter the contest. And what you will have to do is click on that link, put in your email address and follow the steps. There's three steps involved with winning this contest you must do all of them. If you don't, you can't win, unfortunately. So make sure you enter your email so that we can contact the winner. Make sure that you like our video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure that you also subscribe or follow me on Instagram. And that's all you need to do to win. The contest will be opened very shortly. You'll see the date of when the contest is live and you'll also see the date of when the draw will take place. I will announce the winner right here on my channel. All you have to do is stay tuned for that announcement and the lucky winner will be shipped out this very guitar and you will be able to enjoy a very unique, pretty sexy guitar if I say so myself. 
So guys, that's it for today. I really do appreciate you tuning in to Addicted to Gear. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. You're helping me and you're also getting the opportunity not only to get cool information on gear, but also to get a chance to win some cool giveaways that we're going to be having here as well. So please stay tuned. Keep rocking. We'll be back with more great videos right here on Addicted to Gear. See you soon.